Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel! Today we are diving into one of the most celebrated games in chess history, the opera game played by legendary Paul Murphy in 1858. This masterpiece showcases rapid development, tactical brilliance and stunning checkmate. Stick around as we break down each move and uncover the lessons you can apply to your own games. Come on, let's do it together! Ok, so let's start with the moves! Now, you know, Morphe performed it like just unbelievable, so you must be concentrate until the end. So White begins with e4, aiming to control the center and open lines. For his pieces, Black replied with e5, a solid response to White's opening. Knight f3, attacking the e5 pawn. The move d6 is chosen, entering the Philidor defense and of course to defend the pawn on e5. White strikes with d4, challenging the center and also opening diagonal for the bishop from c1. Bishop g4 was played, pinning the knight to the queen and also developing the bishop. But now the pawn is captured with d takes e5, opening the center. So here after d takes e5, just queen takes d8, king takes d8 and knight takes e5 with winning position. So bishop takes f3 was played, capturing the knight. Queen takes f3, the queen of course recaptures maintains pressure on the center. D takes e5, taking back the missed pawn. And now bishop c4. The bishop is developed, targeting the vulnerable f7 square. Queen takes f7, it will be a checkmate on the board. Knight f6 was played, develop his knight and also protect from the checkmate on f7. And now white played a very nice move. Queen b3, targeting both squares, the f7 and b7 spawns. Queen e7 was played as a defensive measure here. But hey, we can take the pawn on b7, but there, queen b4 check, queen takes, bishop takes, and probably white is better, but not winning absolutely. So now, white played the move knight to c3 developing the knight and bringing another piece into the attack. The move c6 was made just to control the b7 pawn with the queen and also maybe preparing some b5 move. Morphy plays the move bishop g5, another developing piece and also pinning the knight to the queen and setting up tactical opportunities. Pawn was pushed to b5. Tough, it turns out to be a critical mistake, or maybe in your words, a blunder. The sacrifice, knight takes b5, exploits the pin c6 pawn. c takes b5 was made, and now bishop takes b5 check. Black defense with knight bd7, and now the legend, castle queenside, bringing his rook to the d file. Rook d8 was played to defend from bishop takes d7, but Morphy are stuck is unstoppable. Morphy sacrificed the rook. Rook takes d7, creating immense pressure. Black recaptures with rook takes d7, and now the genius play the move rook d1. Slowly move, but of course attacking the pinned knight on d7. The rook, of course, sorry. Now queen e6. Try to defend, but now white captures with bishop takes d7, knight takes d7, and here Morphy delivers the final blow with queen b8. What a sacrifice! Knight takes b8, the only move, and now the game ends with rook d8. A stunning checkmate on the board with only rook and a bishop. We are winning the game. So, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's learn. So our lessons from the opera game. So what can we learn from this masterpiece? First of all, prioritize development. Morphe's rapid and effective piece development was just crucial to his success in this game. 
control the center. Dominating the center of squares limited Black's options and facilitated Morph's attack. Coordinate your pieces. Morph is harmonious piece activated creative or overwhelming threats. Be alert for tactical opportunities. Morphe's sacrifice were calculated and led to decisive advantage. So this was the opera game, a timeless example of strategic brilliance and tactical mastery. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please like and subscribe and of course hit the, the notification bell for more chess content. Share your thoughts in the comments and have you ever executed a similar combination? Or do you have a favorite Morphe game? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next videos. See you soon. Bye bye.